Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We are going to be doing some main quests this time. We're going to be going to Kadara and most importantly, if you look at the top of the screen, we this is our last planet to scan. The most important thing we could possibly be doing. So let's go into it. Skip the little thing that makes us go over to it. And we're at the now planet. Scan. Order for all incoming ships. We've now scanned the all the planets we know of. By order of Sloan Kelly. She was head of Nexus Security. Be ready for anything and keep comms open. Should hear from our resistance contact soon. Cool. Let's land in Kadara Fort. Yes, I wish to disembark. It didn't ask us who we're taking. Interesting. It just let us land. All right. Ooh. Ominous view of the black hole there. Right. Oh, Kadara looks uh, interesting. Presumably, we won't be exploring the main part of the world. We'll be exploring the port itself. It There's been a development regarding the spy Venturev. Rendezvous at Crawler's Song. Your contact's code name is Shayna. Shayna. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. A little port. I'm expecting this place to be a little bit like Omega from the previous games. We'll see, though. We'll see. Are we going to be met at the uh, port by anybody, or are we just allowed to land? Because I don't imagine that, you know, former head of Nexus security, head of the Nexus exiles, is going to be happy for us to just land here. That's one hell of a welcome sign. Exiles Ooh. have stepped up All their right. game since the revolt. Wait, was that Vetra we had on out with us? Yeah, it's Vetra and Drac. Too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station with nothing to show for it. Uh huh. We should be allies. Maybe we can get them back on our side. We know they can fight Cat. Our suppliers waiting. Come on, we're gonna be late. Do I even want to know? Nope. nope. All right then. You can't do this. This is a home. Should have paid your protection fees then. And Sloan wonders why people join the collective. Say that again. I dare you. The collective. Hmm. I wonder what that is. I assume it's some sort of terrorist group or gang around here. Okay. Well, we can head down in, or we can head through that door. Uh, I kind of want to just head down. We always do. Ooh, we can scan. No more talking. I'm sick of your shit. Uh, what does it want us to scan? Is it when we stand here? We scan. You won't get away with this. Uh, people won't allow it. I can't see anything. Hmm. Interesting. Prick. Must be underneath, maybe. All right, what's going on here? To nope, out nobody's there. saying anything. Not my problem. It's fine. Ah, this is no what we're looking for. Don't cool. Blame us you couldn't pay your fees. Sloan's not running Hello, a people. charity. Ooh, that is unnecessary. Right, so what have we got over here? I'm just going to kind of wander around a little bit, see whether anybody gives us anything. Hmm. Okay, there are a few shops. We don't really need to check them out because we already have, like, what we want. But I'm happy to just wander. See who else we can find. See how far it lets us go. See where it just says, nope, you're not going any further. Okay. More Milky Way research data. We'll have it. What's through here? Oh, we have to do this for a long time? Okay. That's fine. That's totally not a loading screen or anything. This will be the way to their leaders, presumably. Terminal. Okay, Ven Tevra, who is a prisoner. Ah, okay, so this is their prison. A birthplace, claims Vold, treason, aiding a betting cat, high pain tolerance even for a spy, four integration sessions, still no usable data on the cat, sentenced to death. That's not good. We also have a Garten Palace, uh, Sirkesh, treason, aiding and abetting the collective, uh, codename Larcia, a representative of the charlatan, committed suicide before final sentencing. Smuggling. Tried to bypass mandatory tax. Sentenced to three broken fingers. Interesting. Alright. 
So this must be like their prison. Yeah. Very uh, strict laws here. Katus. I caught two more recruits rifling through the stock. We need locks. I don't give a shit if it sends a message of distrust. I don't trust them. Three crates of good ale have gone missing this month alone. One of these assholes is to blame. We might as all wear the same colors, but these rookies aren't of the same caliber as you and me. A cafeteria. Okay, what have we got here? Cat fighter model? Mine. Definitely. Definitely mine. Does it run away after stealing that? What have we got over here? Nothing? Nothing. So this area is locked down. This is obviously their command center. It looks very similar to the Angaran command center, but you know. Obviously they wouldn't just re use the same layout, would they? That would just be... That would just be a little bit lazy, wouldn't it? Nah, no, I'm, I'm just joking. It, it seems slightly different. Anyway, what's through here? All the doors take so long to open. Oh. It's it's a bar. Hello. Pathfinder. Interested in the Collective's services? How do you know who I am? The Collective makes a point of knowing everything and everyone worth knowing in Helios. You sound more like information brokers than pirates. The two aren't mutually exclusive. Okay. Tell me about the... Uh, what's the Collective? I'm having trouble nailing down what the Collective is, exactly. Understandable. We aren't one thing. Think of us as a service provider. We cater to our clients' needs. Even if that means killing and stealing from people. Survival is an ugly business, Pathfinder, but unlike the outcasts, we aren't governed by hate. If the initiative proved reasonable, I'm sure the charlatan would be willing to work with the Nexus. Okay, tell me about the charlatan. Who is the charlatan? No one seems to have a straight answer. The charlatan is our leader and a private individual. Even I haven't seen them in person. You take orders from a stranger? I've met representatives. People who speak for the charlatan and carry out their will. Whoever the charlatan is, man or woman, they provide. Information, care, resources. It's ours. That's enough for me. Interesting. So the charlatan sounds like it could be our benefactor. Like the mysterious one from the Nexus. We'll see though. So you're the outcast rivals. What's going on between the Collective and the Outcasts? Officially, nothing. Unofficially? Lines are being drawn, Pathfinder. That's all I can say. So, how do I join? Let's say I was interested in joining your little gang. How would I do that? You're more high profile than our usual members, but it's up to the charlatan who joins. If you have potential, our leader will reach out to you, usually through a representative. And then what? For some, that's it. Others may have to pass a test. It's different for every recruit. Okay, well, thank you. Thanks for your time. Of course, Pathfinder. Of course. Right, uh, nobody else there we want to talk to? Let's head down into the bar. Alright, this is good. You alright there? Mm, not really. Who, who are you? Nobody in particular. Uh, alright. I'll well, we'll just wait for a contact then. It's not a big place, Kadara hey. Port. Piss off. You order, you pay. I said... Ooh, okay. You look like you're waiting for someone. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we'll take the drink. Yeah, I've sure. got time for a drink. I don't think this is our contact. I'm not 100% sure it is anyway. We'll see. Shayna. But you can call oh, me oh, Ray. Yes. I hate the code names. I was expecting someone more... Angaran. <laughs> me too. The Resistance pays me to supply information. Among other things. So you're a smuggler? Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloane Kelly, leader of the Outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. 
The people are calling for his execution. And Sloane? <laughs> She's a woman of the people. All right. So... We'll say my kind of leader, maybe? Nah. Not how I would put it. I think that's maybe closer to us. Dress it up however you want. She's a criminal. You Not work really where for I was the going initiative. With that. Sloane was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. Everyone has a price. Maybe she'll agree to a deal. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloan. I'll talk to the resistance. All right then. How do I contact you if things go south? Hey, you got to pay. Keep the change. Always do. All right then. Hmm. So she was watching us is what the implication is there, I think. Um, yeah, that option there would give us two options for Sloan. It was like either, oh yeah, we're her best buddy or, oh, she's a criminal. They're, they're kind of like very far into the spectrum. I'm thinking kind of in the middle. So we'll see. What can I get you? Don't say surprise me. Uh, have you tended bar before? Were you a bartender back in the Milky Way? Yup. You like it? Nope. So why do it? It's familiar. All right, I get that. When you're surrounded by the alien, it's comforting to do something familiar. Yeah, sure. What's the word around Kadara? So, what's the latest in Kadara? The port's on the brink of civil war. The charlatan and the collective have been gunning for Sloane's throne. Thought it was all talk until they started killing each other in the Badlands. You're pretty calm about it. When you live in a place run by pirates, violence becomes relative. I'm not going to worry until the shooting's outside my bar. Tell me about Sloane. How do you feel about Sloane? Do you like her? I like Sloane fine, but her protection fees can go to hell. She makes you pay for protection? Yep, and the price of safety keeps getting higher. Can't complain too much, though. The outcasts are my biggest customers. Tell me about the charlatan. You mentioned the charlatan and the collective. Yeah, what about them? Who are they? <sighs> wow, you're new here. No one knows who the charlatan is. That's kind of the point. He, she, they, whatever, run the collective. They like to think of themselves as some kind of spy network. But they're just thugs. Might be a little smarter than the outcasts, but no one's got the moral high ground in Kadara. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for the gossip. Part of the job. I'll have a drink. Whiskey. Neat. That's the only way we serve it. All right, then. Yeah, seems to have gone fine, I think. Cool. Uh, well, that's us done there. We need to go speak to Sloane now. Oh, and go the correct direction. Right, through the door. Which takes, like, a million years to open. Okay, Sam, cool. Tell me about Sloane Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. Aha. Interesting. Great. Well, let's go speak to her. Hello. No funny yep. business. Focus defenses here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. What? Um, yeah, name's first. You must be Sloan Kelly. I'm... I know who you are. So... All right, then. What brings a Pathfinder to our humble port? Then to Rev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. Well, I'm going to be honest with her. I need him so I can infiltrate a Ket flagship. You've obviously got no love for the Ket. I'm doing you a favor. Kadara is an Angaran port. They want Ven dead, and I want to keep them happy. This is bigger than local politics. You don't need Ven. 
You need his intel. Talk to him before I put his head on a spike. All right, sounds fair enough. I can work with that. See? No reason we can't be civilized. Well, that seemed to work. <laughs> I should have brought refreshments. All right, then. That was really easy. Give the Pathfinder Let's access go. to the holding cells. Yes, sir. I'm going to speak to you now. You're not what I expected, Pathfinder. I get that a lot. Mm. Mm. Keep staying on Sloan's good side and I'll be really impressed. Okay, so what's your role here? Are you Sloan's second in command? She calls me her right hand Tyrion. I keep the wheel from squeaking. Were you part of the uprising? Did you switch sides with Sloan during the mutiny? I came over on Ark Natanis. Never stepped foot on the Nexus. I ran into some Natanis survivors on Havarl. They're still alive. <laughs> Must be Rix is doing. You know Avidus? We've crossed paths. Okay, interesting. Uh, the Collective seem powerful. The Collective is making waves in Kadara Port. What's the Outcast's plan to stay on top? By not telling our strategies to strangers. Okay, tell me about you and Sloane. You and Sloane seem close. What about it? Nothing. Just wondering what's the story there. We met on the Citadel. She punched me in the face when I offered to buy her a drink. <laughs> Seriously? No. Mind your own business, Pathfinder. All right, I'll See be off. Kytus. Well, I mean, that's fine. I want to like, come back in here and speak to people if it'll let me. Uh, who else have we got over here? None of you. All right. Hello, Sloan. Our deal's done. What do you want? Well, obviously to help each other. I think we can work together. The enemy of my enemy is... I'm not your friend, but you've proven reasonable. Ask your questions. Oh, cool. All these questions. All right, why did you mutiny? I looked you up. Head of Nexus Security, Alliance trained. Record shows a temper, but otherwise paints the picture of a loyal soldier. Why'd you switch sides? Because I'm sick of serving assholes. I could have handled the situation on the Nexus, but Tam wanted a bloodbath. He brought in the Krogan without even asking me. New galaxy, same old bullshit. You could have quit. They would have died without my help. Not all exiles are criminals. Some of us just had enough. Yeah, sounds like a tough situation. You became a pirate by trying to protect people from a massacre. The irony isn't lost on me. You know, Pathfinder, when I joined the initiative, I thought we could build a new society. A better one. But the initiative was just another empty promise. The only person I can count on to change things is me. Okay, tell me about after the Nexus. Helios isn't exactly hospitable. How did you survive after the Nexus? We didn't leave empty-handed, but when supplies ran low, we were forced to get creative. I ordered hits on Ket convoys, traded with Angaran villages. They told me about Gadara port. You never got violent with the Angara? Just the Rokar. Fuck those guys. Okay, tell me about your rise to power on Kadara. How did a human come to lead an Angaran port? When I got to Kadara, the Ket were rounding up Angara like animals. It was a slaughter. My people put an end to it. Naturally, the locals were grateful. And the heads decorating the spaceport? What's that about? A warning. To the Ket? To anyone. Okay, tell me about the outcasts. So, the outcasts. Give me the sales pitch. The outcasts aren't for you. Wow, no hesitation. I handpicked every one of my crew. They've got either potential or history with me. You've got neither. Well, others have doubted me. Addison said something similar. I'll prove you both wrong. Addison and I agree on something. <laughs> tell me about your rivalry with the Collective. What does the Collective have against the Outcasts? People always want what they don't have. The Charlatan's thugs are no different. Who do you think the Charlatan is? My guess, a group of people. It'd take more than one person to run that outfit. You're not worried they're moving in on Outcast territory? If they make a play, I'm ready. Okay, well, I'll let you get goodbye. Back to it. Pathfinder, stay out of Kadara's business. 
this isn't your turf. Yeah, they, they, they don't really say much, but they do threaten a lot, don't they? Right. Let's head out here. Let's head around and go into their prison area. Right. Don't feed the prisoner. Let's lick here for age. Don't touch the prisoner. And the only okay. thing that passes between you two are words. Got it? Absolutely. I won't cause trouble. Yeah, sure. Well, hello there. What do you want? The Archon's ship. Where is it? This a new interrogation tactic? Sloane's getting lazy. I don't answer to Sloane. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. The one who rescued the Moshai. I know who you are and what happened on Vold. Uh-huh. Then help me. You can still make this right, Ven. Tell me what I need to know. <laughs> Making it right won't save my life. But it could save others. The Archon's ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do you still have it? I buried it before I was arrested. Should still be outside the city. Thanks for the intel. Don't you want to know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshai? Sure, tell me. Enlighten me. We're losing the war against the Ket, and still, Ephra puts my brothers and sisters in danger to protect a useless old woman. So you took things into your own hands? I made the call he wouldn't. The Archon only wanted the Moshai. I thought if I gave her up, uh huh. I didn't know what the cat were doing to my people. Mm hmm. Sounds like you were manipulated. You resent Ephra, so the Archon used that against you. If Ephra was a better leader, uh, it doesn't matter. And I'll accept the consequences. Alrighty then. Pathfinder, the communicator is buried outside the ceasefire zone. I suggest bringing a squad. Vetra, Drac, are you back from whatever it was you were doing? Yep, our completely legitimate business deal went off without a hitch. <laughs> Benefit of bringing a Krogan along. Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. I need to go outside the city. Did I read this data pad? Yes, yes I did. Uh, there's somebody to speak to somewhere. Who is that? That's Katus who wants us to speak to. Alright, let's speak to Katus then. Ooh, what is that? That's the fast travel station. Oh, cool. So everywhere is open to us now. Katus, do you have a quest for us? Over here, pal. You've handled your fair share of cat. <laughs> Hard to get far in Andromeda without running into them. Yes, and? When Sloan took over, she slaughtered the cat who were here. There were mass executions, public, so people would know that Kadara was kept free. But there have been rumors of stragglers in the Badlands. If the tales are true, they need to go. Uh, okay. I uh, heard any cat-related rumors? What exactly are the rumors about the cat? Ambushes, people disappearing, vehicles sabotaged, picked clean for parts. Could be feral local wildlife, sinkholes, and Gara bullshit. But there's enough people saying cat. Uh, how were the cat here killed? You said Sloan killed the cat here. What happened? The cat had the port locked down when we arrived. They were shipping Angara off for who knows what. People were scared. But the place had potential. So we fought the cat for it. And we won. You saw the decorations outside. That's Sloan making sure everyone knows she's the new power. Well, I'll do it for you. I'll think about checking out the Badlands. Excellent. Good. Right. Get through the door, and we can talk to some people outside here. If we can, you know, open the door in a timely fashion, that would be lovely. Cool. Right. Who do we need to speak to? Many people. How about... 
Ooh. You've all seen a dead body before. You first. Move along. Uh, that's not good. If you would like, Pathfinder, I could provide an analysis of the deceased. Yep. He's Angaran. There are multiple lacerations on the face and abdomen. Another body? I don't get paid enough for this shit. There's been more than one murder? Seven by my count, but that's all I know. Perhaps Mr. Vidal would have more information, Pathfinder. Uh, yeah, perhaps. Okay. Do we have another one in here or where? Looks like it's round the back here. All right. Let's go have a look and see if we can find this person. All right. There is some space around the back here. Okay. What's this? Nothing. Ooh, that wasn't the right one. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Cool. Through here. Oh, yep. Long door. Good door to open. There we go. Who have we got here? On, Hello, Grayson Wesler. You okay? What? Oh, yeah, of course. Talking might help. If you get whatever it is off your chest, you might feel better. Doubtful, but it's worth a shot. I joined the outcasts a few weeks ago. Kytus tasked me with collecting protection fees. Thought it'd be easy. But we talked to so many people. I got the names mixed up and banished someone who paid their fee. They didn't protest it? Of course, she did. But they all do. We don't really listen. Think she's alive? What are the chances she's still alive? I don't know. Slim. The Badlands are... Bad. I thought about looking for her, but I can't risk Kytus finding out I screwed up. I need this job to feed my little brother. Our mom's still in cryo on the Nexus. He's got no one else. Okay, leave it to me. I'll look for her. Just tell me her name and any clues about where she might be. Remy Tamayo. She would have gone to the slums for processing. After that, no idea. Uh, the warden might know. Everyone who's banished to the Badlands goes through him. All right then. Cool. What else have we got? This looks bad. Research center, fast travel station, which we just You're unlocked. You're the Pathfinder, right? Transit One of your console. crew, Liam, already secured parking for your vehicle. She's ready for you. Good job, Liam. Datapad. Ooh. Uh, okay. Someone's bringing in water, salvage, skins. Okay. Simulated apple flavor. Uh, if Anna asks why it's five pounds of pocket pies instead of six, tell her they were damaged in transit. Okay. Fine. Uh, so that's somewhere we can go. Okay. What about up here? What have we got up here? Oh, we got press G. Is it here? There it is. It's those and it's that. There we go. Research data. Perfect. Up the top here. This is just the way back to where we started, right? Hello, guard. This area is restricted. Turn your ass around. What are you going to do to them? Don't worry, Captain Do-Good. We're not going to kill him. Well, not directly. Explain. What do you mean, not directly? Just that I can't vouch for what'll happen in the Badlands. The Badlands? <laughs> Damn, you don't know anything. The Badlands is everything outside the port. It's a no-man's land. That's why people pay premium to live up here. Or rough it in the slums. It's chaos out there. Anyway, now that I've educated you, piss off. Alrighty then. Fine by me. And this is the way, if we can ever open this door. That, yeah, that's the last door that we opened. All right, so that takes you back around there. Cool. Transit. So let's go have a look at that quickly. How do we get back down? Is here. Okay. Cool. Not lost. Oh, got some air there. Transit console. Take a lift to the slums? Sure. Oh, and in the slums we need weapons. I see. Well, um, who are we going to take? I think that we should take... Um... Ooh. Drac, probably. 
Jarl seems like a really good option still. Um, Vetra though, she was mentioning something here, and it obviously was like hinting take Vetra, so we'll take Vetra and Drac. That's fine. If we see something about Angara, we'll go switch up. That's fine. Confirm. Oh, we also need to level these two. That's fine. We can we can level them. We're just going down to the under city to talk to these people, see how they're doing. Right. If it will load us in, hopefully, at some point. There we go. Uh, first things first, we want to level these two. Uh, level like this. Uh, oh, and level ourselves. I didn't notice we got a level up. Biotics, throw. We're looking for recharge speed. Yeah, not duration. Don't care about duration. Confirm, but actually we can go back in there and get an extra point in containment ourselves up for effectiveness so it does more force uh yeah that's good does more damage as well vetra 12 points put them into turbocharge increase its duration by 50 percent cool and we actually go another one here and give it more damage that's fine and three points we can't spend there we go and then drac has like 42 points, because we never used them. Okay. Um, we should definitely put a point in incinerate, at the very least, or a couple of points in there. Probably up to radius. There we are. Flat cannon. Definitely put some points in here. Up to... Uh, let's do damage and force there. Blood rage, recharge speed, armor smasher, regen, ally damage. There we are. And then eight points we'll put in Grizzle Veterans, so martial training, defense, and that's that. Should be all of his points spent. Yeah, confirm. Cool. Okay. Um, oh, and now we can evaluate Kadar for Outpost, which means it probably has... Um, it may have a vault on it, although it doesn't look like there's a lot of room here, unless there's more room outside this area. Could be, though. Could be. Anyway, I think we're going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time we'll explore all of Kadara, or the rest, or the lower slums, and then I think we'll go out into the Badlands, because this doesn't appear to be the Badlands. Anyway, see you then. Goodbye.